What the fuck was that? What the actual fuck was that performance? First game of the season, you're coming up against a team whose best player is Alexander fucking Mitrovic. And you produced that. That. First half, we were absolutely fucking terrible. Bobby Firmino can never start for this team again. He is still a decent player off the bench. That is if. He cannot start football games. Darwin Nunes sitting on the bench, 80 million euros. Why? Why? He was our only good player today. He came on, second half, goal and assist. That's a big positive today. Fulham's penalty was an absolute fucking joke. He was literally going down before the contact, but of course, it's still given, and VAR don't overturn it. But regardless of that, that was fucking terrible. Apart from 30 minutes in the second half, that was fucking terrible. And that is certainly not going to fucking cut it this season. Jesus Christ. What have I just watched? What the fuck have I just watched? Darwin Nunes, you should be ashamed of yourself. Your first game in a Liverpool shirt at Anfield, and that is what you do. Something so stupid, you've already let down the players and the fans tonight. But apart from that, we only have ourselves to blame. The first half, we were excellent, chance after chance, but we couldn't take anything against fucking Palace. We literally would have lost that game if Dia didn't come up with something special in the second half. Klopp started Nat Phillips, a championship centre-back. Up against Zaha. Of course he got roasted. Of course he cost us the fucking game. A midfield three of Elliot, Milner and Fabinho in 2022. Do we seriously think that that is going to get things done tonight? We have taken two points from Crystal Palace and Fulham in our opening two games. Two fucking points. We are only two games in. But I can safely say I am a little bit worried about this team. Thank God we have Manchester United next week. Call the season off. Call the fucking season off. Imagine getting beaten by a team that got outplayed by Brentford and Brighton. We are fucking shite. We are genuinely fucking shite. I said it before and I'll say it again. Henderson, shite. Milner, shite. Firmino, shite. Trent, he got tore a new one by Anthony fucking Alanga. He can't even fucking defend. We never even looked like getting back in to the fucking game. Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is happening with this team. But we are an embarrassment and every single Liverpool player that played tonight should be fucking embarrassed of themselves. It's going to be a long fucking season. <sighs> and fuck the fucking lot of you. We finally won a game. Liverpool 9, Bournemouth 0. I think it's fair to say Liverpool are back. That is exactly what we need today and we produced it. Right from the off you can see we're going to score goals. That could have been any fucking number in the world. Bournemouth are genuinely one of the worst football teams I have ever seen in the Premier League. But it doesn't matter. It's a big three points. It's exactly what we needed. And look, a bad start to the season. First three games, obviously, no wins. But that was just us giving the league a chance. Now is when the season starts. And we're going to sign a midfielder. And we're going to win the league. Up the Reds. Get in there. Massive win. Have that Newcastle for diving and time wasting for 90 fucking minutes today. Fabio Carvalho, I absolutely adore you. That is an enormous, enormous three points. But I'm not going to lie. For about 70 minutes today, that was awful again. It was unwatchable. The players didn't even look like they wanted it. But that is a huge win. I hope this doesn't cover over the cracks. We have a lot of problems. But that's a big three points. Onwards from here. Up the Reds. How do you drop points to them? How the fuck do you drop points to them? They are the worst team in the league. They have the worst manager in the league. Their best player is Anthony fucking Gordon. And we can't beat them. I don't know the problem with this team. I really don't. Thiago is obviously a huge loss. But there's more than enough quality on that pitch to be beating teams like this. And the worst thing about today is Everton looked like more likely to fucking win the game in the last 20 minutes. I said it a few weeks ago and I will say it again. We are shite. I can't pinpoint it, but we are genuinely shite. And I worry for us this season. And lastly, Jordan Pickford can fucking piss off. He's shite all season, yet he always performs against us. Fuck this shit, man. We are a joke. We are an absolute fucking joke. To think we wasted four weeks to watch that other shite. The first 30 minutes today were absolutely pathetic. Pathetic from every single Liverpool player. But we got back in it. And we still didn't win the fucking game. How can you defend like that against Brighton? How can you defend like that with a back four of Trent, Van Dijk, Matip and Semikas? How can you make Leandro Trossard look like a prime fucking Ed Nazar? A hat-trick at Anfield? Are you actually fucking serious? Ten points from our first seven Premier League games. What the fuck is happening? Seriously, it's absolutely fucking pathetic. How do these people have a job? How do these people get paid to make decisions like that every single week? Because that was an absolute disgrace. 
What do the Premier League have against Liverpool? Liverpool were excellent in the first half, the far better team, and we went down at half time. And why was that? Because a stonewall penalty in the first half wasn't given. And then the second half, a very dubious challenge on Jesus, and Arsenal get the penalty straight away. The Premier League officials have cost Liverpool yet again. And don't get me wrong, Liverpool were an absolute disaster in the second half. This team is a disgrace to some of the Liverpool teams that I've watched. But in terms of officiating performances, that is one of the absolute worst that you will ever see. I'm so fucking sick of watching this fucking team, man. I don't know what the score is going to be next week against City, but it's going to be embarrassing. Fuck this team. I genuinely feel emotional after watching that, because today we've seen the real Liverpool. And I don't know why it took a game against Manchester City to see the real Liverpool, but that was fucking incredible. We more than matched Manchester City for 90 minutes, and we fully deserve to win today. I think it's so funny, in our worst start to a season in years, City, the best team in the world, still lose to us. It doesn't matter how the league table is going year after year. When Liverpool and Manchester City come up against each other, Jurgen Klopp always owns Pep Guardiola and Liverpool always own Manchester City. From 1 to 11 today, everybody incredible, absolutely inspired. And let's just hope that this is the start of something special. Up the fucking red men and hold that Pep Guardiola and Bernardo Silva. Get in! How do we go from the performance against Manchester City to one week later produce that? Seriously, I'm genuinely curious. What an embarrassment. And Liverpool fans call me out for calling this team an embarrassment and a disgrace. Well, we just lost to Nottingham Forest, a team that's pretty much already relegated. A team that has been outplayed by pretty much every opposition they have came up against so far this season. We couldn't score against them. Honestly, is that a fucking embarrassment? Is that a disgrace? Of course it is. And I'm fucking right. This team is an absolute shambles, and I've said it before, from pretty much... Every single player in this team, apart from Alison Becker, who's our fucking goalkeeper, and we are going absolutely nowhere this season, the way we are going. What a fucking embarrassment. What can I say that has not already been said? Because this Liverpool team has officially fucking broken me. An absolute bunch of fucking jokers, every single one of them. But you can't call them an embarrassment. You can't call them a disgrace. Fuck off. Just fuck off. We just lost to Leeds at Anfield. A club that haven't won a game for over two months until today. We lost to Forest last weekend. Another club that will probably be in the fucking championship next season. Hodgson's Liverpool comes to mind because I don't remember the last time I enjoy watching Liverpool less than this season. I have nothing else to say. I told you all, I fucking told you all Liverpool would win that game and you all doubted me. Well look at what happened. Liverpool win again. I was right again. Liverpool have now beaten two very good teams in the space of a week. Napoli and Spurs away. Something looked different about Liverpool this week. We look a lot more likely to win and that was a good performance and a fully deserved three points. The rest of the league better watch out because Liverpool are fucking coming. Up the Reds.